Hey Faye family, it's Brother Mario. This is a part two to the previous video that I uploaded where I discussed with you how my previous serving of the Lord at the end of the ministry for the last year and a half, two, for the main channel became an idol to me and how ministry can actually be an idol in your life. And it's very hard to pick it up because, well, I'm serving God and it seems like I'm doing a lot of good. But if the Lord is not leading you to something, that can become an idol if you're not responding and being spirit-led. And so I wanted to emphasize more about this in this video. Specifically, what I wanted to discuss is how I led many of you astray. There's consequences to me not following the spirit and producing this content. And one of the consequences is many of these videos have become your idol as well. The ministry became an idol to me, and because I was in light of the Spirit, the consequence of that was creating content that turned into conspiratainment. You found yourself to be captivated by this entertainment in the form of exposed videos. Notice the amount of views that the videos get. We'll discuss that in a moment and why that should be alarming to real Bible-believing Christians who want to follow the Lord Jesus Christ and should be a sign that something's a little off. Also, what I'm going to discuss in this video is the dangers for content creators who are constantly focused on exposing evil. I'm going to explain to you how it is spiritually damaging for those who do such things and what are the symptoms that you can expect if that's what you're going to do, because I lived it and I know. Also, I'm going to uh, talk about how this is totally apart, but stay tuned to the end of the video. One of the things in response to the banning is YouTube seems to be posting these old videos about me that a bunch of slanderers and gossipers made back in the day, like literally two years ago, where they take half-truths and that, and these videos are being pushed everywhere, and I got people coming to my comment section, Mario, you've been exposed. I know all about you. Not realizing that you, my friend, have fallen into a trap. The devil just made you fall into a trap through using his best technique, which is to slander, falsely accuse, and to create gossip. And we'll discuss that at, at the end because it's actually become a huge problem. I'm having to block so many people because you're going to old gossip that's not even relevant to my life anymore. But anyways, we'll talk about that in the end. So first thing I want to point out as well is an objection to my previous video. Some of you have say, don't blame God. Don't blame God on this. Okay, wait a second. Yes, God allows evil. If you actually studied your Bible, you would know this. Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, which comes from the story of Joseph, which in my first video I used as a, an illustration to emphasize what I was saying, says this. Joseph speaks and he says, As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. And so you can go back to the part one and show, and you can see that what happened to Joseph was bad. He was thrown into prison, betrayed by his brother. All sorts of evil was done. God allowed that evil to happen for a greater good. And it's the same thing here. God allowed the banning of my YouTube channel for a greater good so that I could really get centered and focused and humble myself and get back. I wish I would have been more attentive to the spirit and I didn't need the banning and I would have just obeyed when I should have. But that's not the case. I'm a big fool sometimes, and I'm not vigilant myself. And so the devil got the, the best of me in that sense. But God is faithful and good, and he's turned it all around for my good. So, yes, God is responsible sometimes for allowing evil, but he always turns it into good for us. Read your Bible if you don't believe that. Now, going back to this topic of creating an idol, creating content for people that now has become an idol, did you notice how many views the videos get that talk about celebrities, world events, uh, drama, gossip? They get tons and tons and tons of views. But the videos that I create that are focused on the Bible, the gospel, evangelism, and apologetics don't get the same amount of views. And why is that? Well, Matthew chapter 7, verse 4, For the gate is narrow, and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are few. Matthew 7, chapter 13, Eat, uh, enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. And so, many people on that day of judgment who consider themselves to be Christian will go to the Lord, and he will say, and they will say to him, 
Lord, Lord, have I not prophesied in thy name? Have I not cast out devils? Have I not done many good works? And I'll add here, have I not watched every single video exposing evil all the time, 24 seven? And then he's gonna declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. And so we really have to sit back as a community of believers and ask ourselves, why is so many Christians flocking to videos that deal with the entertainment industry, world events, Hollywood, and stuff like that? It's because many of you don't really want God. And I love you enough to tell you that. I love you enough to tell you that you're lukewarm. And this isn't all of you, okay? Some of you are able to watch this type of content to develop an awareness, which I still believe is important. Let us not be ignorant of Satan's devices, but let us not also be obsessed over Satan's devices. So much so that we don't study the Bible. Now, here's the thing. If you click on the Lady Gaga exposed and the, oh, look at the hand signs and this and that, and oh, it's at nauseum, the amount of videos and content that, that, that's been created in this, this realm. Um, and you are not spending time in the word. You're not praying. You're not studying to show yourself approved as you should be. And you're not growing close to the Lord. I'm very concerned with you. I'm very concerned for your salvation. Those are not good fruits that indicate that you have a real conversion. It shows that you care more about the things of the world. This, even if it's from a Christian perspective, it's still things of the world. And I am very sorry that I created content like that for you to, to, to just get absorbed and obsessed into. And I promise moving forward, I will not do that. I will make videos as I am led by the Spirit, and that's the only way that you should be making content. Now, for those of you who create this content out there, let me give you a warning. This content, this obsessing over evil to expose it, can be very dangerous to your soul. You're going to find yourself to be frustrated, to be angry. You're going to lash out a lot more. You're going to be irritated. And you're not going to be close to God like you should. You're going to find yourself consistently looking out into the world. And what is the world doing? What's Hollywood doing? What's the entertainment doing? And your research will be predominantly in those fields of things of the world. And this will be damaging to your walk with Christ. Of course, I know it. I lived it. I'm telling you 1000% that I am experiencing a spiritual renewal and re rejuvenation. And I'm just being restored because I'm no longer doing that. I don't go online anymore to obsess. There's going to be evil going on all the time, guys, all the time. But what's more important for us and should have a top level God first in our lives is our relationship with him. Are you taking time to listen to sermons online? Are you taking time to pray? I'm not saying if you don't watch my new content that uh, that's a bad sign for you because maybe you don't like my preaching. But there are preachers out there that preach the way that you enjoy, uh, that appeals to you, and God has designed them to be um, a, an instructor or a teacher to you in the word and stuff like that. So are you drawing near to those things? Are you? Or is your Christianity really just about, you know, finding Hollywood's way back into your life through these exposed videos? You're still keeping up to celebrities, but you're doing it in this way. Follow Jesus. Make Jesus the one that you pursue, you know? How come you click it on those videos about Hollywood celebrities, but when I post one about Jesus, you don't want to click on it? Something's wrong with you. Very, very spiritually wrong. And so there are dangers to creating this content, and I hope that if you are a person who does create this content, that um, not that you stop doing it, but that you find a good balance and that you make sure you're not just exposing evil for the sake of exposing evil because a topic is mainstream right now and that it's a hot topic like I did. And you actually are led of the spirit to create your content. We're, to spo we're supposed to be spirit led all the time. Otherwise, we're not really doing anything for the Lord. We're actually doing a mistake like I was and then you're gonna create an idol for people and more of the Christians are gonna be obsessed over these things that don't truly edify them deeply like they need to. And you can see it in the comment section. Some of the most disgusting Christian communities are in these comments. I see it spewed out of your mouth. You don't even know how to behave or act because you're constantly focused on these things. So that's what I wanted to uh, just share with you. Um, Christians who flock to drama videos on celebrity world news and events to the point that they lose their center in Christ and it becomes an idol for them. 
You know, Charles Spurgeon said a quote once, a time will come when instead of shepherds feeding the sheep, the church will have clowns entertaining the goats. And I have to say, I was pretty clownish to not listen to the Lord. I was a fool for not following his spirit. And I admit that publicly here to you today. And I confess that I'm repenting of that. I'm no longer going to do that. Even if they completely restore my new channel and I can do it again, I will not because it's not spirit led for me, definitely. Um, so yeah, I uh, no longer wanna be entertaining the goats. The reason that those videos have so many people to click on them is because there's a flock of goats in there with you sheep. And now I'm gonna focus on what Charles was saying here, feeding the sheep, okay? The word of God, edifying you, building you up, encouraging you in your walk with God. If that doesn't appeal to you, you can go ahead and leave. I don't want you here. I don't want the goats. I'm not here to entertain the goats by talking about conspiracy theories that become conspiratainment to you, which is another form of gossip and drama. So if that's what you really want out of this content, it's done from me, I'm never going back. And you only are going to stick around if you love the Lord Jesus and his word, or you may not just like my preaching and I get that, you can go elsewhere. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, but at least go somewhere else, get, get into your Bible, okay? Now, I wanted to just touch on that last point here uh, where all these videos, it's like right as soon as they went ahead and banned my channel, all these videos resurfaced in the algorithm, coincidentally, uh, that blasted me for some previous faults. Is it a big surprise that I'm not perfect? Are you really surprised? Because I have no problem admitting that to you, that in my walk with God, I've had many, 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 many failures. And so have many people in the Bible. We see that Noah got drunk. We see that Abraham lost faith. Jacob lied. Moses was a murderer. David was a murderer and adulterer. Jonah ran from God. Peter denied Christ. The disciples even fell asleep in the Garden of Gethsemane when Jesus was commanding them to stay up with them and to continue to pray on the night he was gonna be taken away to be crucified. And so you can go ahead and go back to the two-year-old gossip that comes from people that have wicked and twisted hearts that try to, there's a little bit of truth in their stuff, but let me tell you, there's a lot of half-truths, twisting of the truth, and what you're dealing with with those videos is gossip and drama. It's a trap that you fell into, and many of you are falling into. And it's a shame that you're not more spirit-led to see that and to understand that. And that you wanna crucify me for things I've done. It would be like going to David when he had just freshly you know, committed those sins and saying, David, you're false, you're not real. Well, no, David repented, as I have. And I am walking in Christ and doing what I need to do. So, yeah, <laughs> you fell for Satan's trap. And it's a shame because I'm gonna be here edifying and encouraging and because you are weak in the spirit and you weren't able to discern falling into a trap of gossip and drama, you're gonna miss out on it. And that's, that's too bad, but that's, that's what you get. You reap what you sow. So go ahead and believe all the old gossip and drama in me. I'm letting you know I'm not perfect. I'm not, okay? Ooh, Mario's not perfect. Yeah, I am a broken man who is being remade by grace, and it's a daily process to crucify my flesh. And so I'm gonna to continue to be transparent to you. I don't have to expose all my sins and that. I mean, YouTube's not a confessional here that I do that in my prayer closet with God alone. Um, but yeah, big surprise, I've had failures. But each time I failed, I realized, I repented, I received godly sorrow, and I grew in spiritual maturity. In fact, the spiritual maturity that many of you are recognizing that God is working in me comes from my failures and me learning from them and repenting from them and becoming more experienced in them. So there you go, everyone. Uh, we're gonna get back to vlogging and preaching. I just had a lot of confessing to do today, a lot of just sh asking for forgiveness and humbling myself before the community for the uh, fact that I wasn't spirit-led and it created content that many of you now are obsessed with and have an idol, like it's an idol for you as well. So my prayer is that you will uh, really want to seek the Lord and he'll give you a thirst for him and not what's going on in the world. So I'd like to pray for that if that's something that you would like to um, have me pray for. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for everything that you do. And Lord, I just come before you here with whoever it is that's listening to this video. Lord, I'm first of all, I'm really sorry. I 
I apologize, I ask for forgiveness for not listening and obeying your call in my life. And I ask that you never, um, I don't wanna do it again. I wanna be spirit led and I wanna create content that is led by you or not created at all. And Father, I just uh, pray for the person listening to this, that they would have a thirst for righteousness, a thirst for studying your Bible, that if they become obsessed with this type of conspiratainment and focusing on celebrities, conspiracies, world events, in an unhealthy, unbalanced way, that you would convict them and you would give them a thirst to be edified and grown and maturing in you. So I pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for taking the time. Let's get back to preaching. <laughs> Love you guys. God bless.